Ben, congratulations on you to your deal with Durham. You must be delighted. Just sum it up for us. <sighs> yeah, it's, it's amazing. Obviously, getting the rookie, I thought, was a real privilege as well. Um, but obviously, to get a, my first proper pro is obviously a privilege as well, coming through the age groups. Um, and uh, it's a great team to be part of as well. So, yeah, you mentioned your first professional deal there. Just tell us when it came about. When did you find out that the deal was on the table and when did you accept it? Um, I think it was about two weeks ago, maybe. I think first innings I got 160. He said uh, it was before the innings, but I'm not sure if it was. Um, but yeah, it was around two weeks ago. Um, I've improved a lot since the start, so yeah, I think it was well said. For you, you've obviously came through the Durham pathway, right from nines right up to the first team. Just give the Durham members a bit about your background from starting up to where you are now. Uh, I think a lot was obviously through John Windows. Um, I was scored a lot of runs because I was a pretty big lad in, in the age groups, but I think where I really refined my technique and stuff was was with John in the academy. Um, obviously, being a left big left hander is pretty. It looks all right on paper, but it's a lot of balance and stuff to do. So refining my skills and with John was the biggest thing about you know where I am today. So hopefully I'm we'll keep that going. Just just touching on that left left yeah oh, left hander that innings at Sussex uh, you, on your first class debut attack and flair 30 31 yeah. off pretty much 35 balls pretty much you run a ball how much fun was that you really looked at ease out there yeah well it was really fun to be there but it was obviously a bit frustrating um, but I, I really did feel at ease and that was a real good wicket there and you know it was I felt amazing it was weird obviously getting out I, I would have took 30 before I'd even walked out there but to get out especially the way I did it was frustrating as well but definitely knew where I stood after that innings. In this year for you, I guess, it's been pretty, pretty unbelievable. England, captain in England and the test team, a good summer with. Last summer here in England and Australia, over, over the winter, just sum up the last year, you must be really pleased with, with how it's gone. Yeah, I think to captain especially was, was definitely amazing. Obviously, even just being a part of the, the England stuff was good, but to lead the boys out um, was amazing in different parts of the world as well. So we went to Abu Dhabi in, in Australia, Obviously, there's a few more coming up, which hopefully I'm involved in, and I think it's just been amazing for my development socially and, and with my cricket as well. Helped England to a first test win in Australia since 2003. How nice was it to be involved in that win and, and be part of it with the lads in Australia? Honestly, it was one of the best feelings I've had in cricket, I think. Obviously, seeing that start, I didn't, I didn't realise the start, but it's been a long time since we won one there as an under-19 group, so being a part of it and definitely to finish off with a run-out was was amazing as well. The boys were class. What was it that that, that winning moment? What was going through your mind at the time? <sighs> Do you know what it is? I I thought he, he came back for two, and I, I definitely wasn't quick enough. And he got in, but the, the umpire gave him out, and I was like, the feeling was amazing. Like there was no selfishness about anyone in the game. Everyone was together. It was it was unbelievable. Just sticking with the three lions. There's games coming up later in the summer against Australia, and then the World Cup in Sri Lanka yeah. in October. If you are selected in that team, how much of an honour will it be to represent England in the World Cup? That would be tremendous. I think the way we see in the other World Cup, obviously in West Indies, they got quite far and that looked amazing. I think it's going to be a different test in Sri Lanka, but I think with the new bunch of lads we've got in the 19s, I think we've got a real chance going out there as well. And if we go back to this time last year, you were just on an academy deal, yeah. forward 24 a year, a year later, it's a professional deal. You must be really pleased with the progress you've made, being in around the first team work with, with Campbell. How, how pleased are you with, with the progress that you've made over the last year? Um, I think it's been quite a surprise. And, I wouldn't say surprise, actually. I think I've put a lot of work in. So, And to do it with, with John, obviously going straight in with the new coach was good because he had a different mindset. Um, obviously, I wasn't with the old coach, but he had like a positive mindset, and I think that's really helped me just understand what my game is. And I think with um, a little bit of misfortune and stuff, I think where I'm at now is, is a complete different player to where I was about a year or two ago. Like we touched on, you made your first class debut in April. We've got the One Day Cup coming up in the next few weeks. Hopefully you'll be given an opportunity in that, if you are given an opportunity, how much you're looking forward to playing list, list day cricket here yeah. for Durham? That would be, I think, Obviously, the overlap with England isn't much, so hopefully if, if I can be involved with both. But I'm obviously thinking about Durham. I'd love to just represent them in, in that tournament. I know they get like you get a lot of chances usually in in the, the Royal London, but 
could be a tremendous honour, especially with the way the boys are going at the minute. Two years here at, here at Durham, how much are you looking forward to the next two years, putting that shirt on, hopefully a lot more, a lot more yeah. time? That would be, be a good ride, I think, hopefully trying to get as many first team appearances. Obviously it's tough this year because the boys have been fantastic, but obviously I can work on my game in the winter and hopefully I get a go in the, in the next years.